hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k plus k is equals to k square and we solve this problem for all the values of k so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root so uh, for this we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and now here in the first method you see into the left hand side we have two variable terms are added by each other uh, so uh, in order to add these two variable terms we need to add the coefficients of these two terms so that when we add the coefficients of these two terms it will becomes here two times of k is equals to k square and further in the next step uh, we need to move this 2k to the right hand side and it will be written as k square this is plus 2k when we move it into the right hand side it will become minus 2k and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here from both of these two equations uh, here we will just take common k from here and when you take common k we get the remaining values are uh, from here we get k only and minus from here we get 2 and this whole equation is equals to 0 so in the next step uh, we just divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write k is equal to 0 and the second case is we write k minus 2 is equals to 0 so this is the, our first root of the given equation and from here we easily get the value of k is equals to 2 because this is minus 2 when we move it into the right hand side it will becomes plus 2. So here in the first method we easily get the two roots of the given equation and these are 0 and 2 and now here further in the next step we need to verify that is these two roots be the solution or is these two roots be the extraneous root so for this we need to copy down given question statement here and it is k plus k is equals to k square and in this side we will be verify k is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify k is equals to 2 so here first we need to uh, focus on k is equals to 0 so when we put k is equals to 0 on both of the sides of the above equation it will be written as so this will become 0 plus 0 is equals to this is k square and k square is equals to 0 square and here we know that 0 plus 0 becomes 0 is equals to this is 0 square and 0 square is also equals to 0. So this shows that uh, both of the sides are equal so this means that the value of k is equals to 0 is satisfied our given question statement. So k is equals to 0 be the one solution of the given equation. And now here we need to focus into the second value of k so that here we substitute this value of k on both of the sides of the given equation. So when you put this value here it will becomes uh, 2 plus 2 is equal to 2 square and we know that 2 plus 2 becomes 4 and 2 square is also equal to 4. So this also shows that the value of k is equals to 2 is also satisfied our given question statement. So this means that these two values of k are satisfied our given question statement. So we uh, conclude about the solution set of the given question is that uh, we have the solution set in the first method is 0 and 2 because both of these two values are satisfied our given question statement and now here in the next step we again solve this problem for second method i hope so you like both of these methods and now here in the second method we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is 
k plus k is equals to k square so this is the our uh, given question statement and here we again solve this problem for second method and in second method you first uh, assume that we will first assume that our k is not equals to zero so when our k is not equals to zero uh, then uh, we just uh, solve this problem uh, for a very uh, direct method okay so here you can solve this in uh, direct method or direct way so you see that this is k plus k becomes two times of k this is our k square and here in this method we just uh, I divide both of the sides by k because here in the question statement we have k is not equals to zero so if k is not equals to zero then you can do this type of steps okay uh, so here we divide both of the sides by k and it will becomes this k is cancelled out by this k and in the left hand side we get two so in the right hand side we have this k is cancelled out by this k and we easily get the value of k is equals to 2 so in the second method we get just only one value of k and that is k is equals to 2 so it means that in the second method uh, we get the solution set is 2 only and also in the first method you easy uh, you see that we can uh, verify this value of k and it is satisfied our given question statement so uh, this is the, our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos